Uh, good to go. All right. Uh, relatively slow week in the conspiracy world this week. We, we got some stuff still, but uh, not a lot. There is some new Jeffrey Epstein, which is uh, he was apparently using arranged marriages to get girls into the U.S. Oh, yeah, I saw that shit. Which mm. I guess makes sense. Like, I think yeah. he was also having to marry people to get passports and whatnot. Yeah, well, and, you know, you, you got to do what you got to do. Now, was it a slow news week or were you just not conscious most of the week? Well, that too. But you if I good, did, you got a pretty good the real questions. You had a pretty good body count this weekend. I'm not going to lie. I blacked out for four days. Dude, uh, sick. It was a good one. It was a yeah, solid bender. Yeah, I was, I was really fucked up for for Monday through Thursday. <laughs> well, actually, I guess more Sunday through Wednesday. And then... Uh, I was going to say, how many of those days do you actually like remember? <laughs> Sunday? Most of Sunday? <laughs> I remember the beginning. <laughs> but that's, about that's usually about the last day you remember. Well, yeah. drinking <clears throat> and Ambien is not a good combination, Mick. Uh, oh, Ambien. It's... Especially when you're taking it at like 11.30 in the morning. Well, I wanted to go to sleep. I was tired of being awake. I didn't have shit to do. I was <laughs> bored. Wow. It was entertaining. I came up with a new idea just uh, from that. I'm going to start Twitch streaming and it's going to be John blacked out. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be a live stream of him passed out on the couch. As long as... To document the bender live. As you post the intervention music over the top of it. Listen, is it really a problem if it's in front of a live audience? It's no, just it becomes, at that point. it becomes a show. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. We're going to... We're going to find a way to make our vices work for us. <laughs> if we're going to make these destructive decisions, we might as well at least hedge that someone will pay us for it. Yeah. Uh, has anyone done that? Like intervention minus the intervention? Or it's just people getting fucked? I guess the, the real world kind of did yeah. that. Like all just, the comedians' podcasts? Yeah, it's just people getting incredibly drunk. and They usually go to rehab after. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. typically more so how the, the cycle works. That's well, only if it goes well. I'll never do that because I don't want to pay for it. So I mean, who would pay to tell them to tell you what you already know? <laughs> yeah, you should stop. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's really all there is to it. I know how I end up at an AA meeting. It's not because I was making good choices. <laughs> no, no. But well, fun choices, fun, not good choices. Bad decisions make for good memories. Sure. Or in this case, uh, lack of memories. It was like time travel, though. Where you just like, I, I I mean, I just remember when we finished recording on Sunday and then I woke up sometime Wednesday. <laughs> and I was like, oh, cool. Hey, half the week. Hey, yeah. damn. I should do that more often. I don't think my liver can take it. My liver literally hurts. It was, it was, uh, you hadn't pulled out one like that in quite a while. It's going to make me really rethink what, uh, how I handle these drinking episodes going further. Uh, <laughs> It did cause me so to there's spiral. More? Well, apparently not. <laughs> if we want to keep the show going, because apparently I give him a taste, and next yeah. thing you know, it's Wednesday. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's going to have to be you. Although, thankfully, I didn't have shit to do this week, so like it didn't really matter. Or we'll just punish you by making you get high as a kite. Yeah. I feel like I would just go into a, a tachycardic episode if I was hungover as fuck and had to smoke weed. As long as it's on camera. As long as it makes money. That's the whole motto for 2021. Long as it's on camera, I don't really give a fuck. Well, we got to drag the cameras back to the apartment, which I guess we'll have to do soon enough anyways. At some point, the studio will be set up there once once the neighbors don't think we're weird. Yeah, the clock is ticking on this uh, spot, so we'll, uh, we'll have to migrate relatively soon. Yeah, in the next month or two. Yeah. We'll add you some know. eucalyptus to the set. So what uh, what do you got on your dossier? So we got some fun news out of China. <sighs> All right, because uh, the who was there to do their their inspection? Like oh, it was like supposed the, to be the World Health Organization, not the band the Who. No, they're not allowed in China. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I don't I don't think they're allowed in the country. <laughs> uh, no, the World Health Organization had their like inspection. It was bullshit. But uh, one of the fun articles that came out was. Uh, apparently, the laboratory they were investigating was awarded a patent for live bat cages that are used to uh, breed them uh, to study virus spread. What kind of cage could you possibly invent at this point that could be patented? Probably one that's very sterilized to avoid exactly what probably happened. Yeah, I guess maybe you got to put it, them in a different kind of cage to get them to mate. But You think their patent doesn't work? 
Is that what this was? Uh, the pack expired? I mean, obviously it's not great because uh, it didn't do its job. Well, I mean, so my favorite line that came out of this was, because they were trying to tout this as, uh, you know, they got rid of the lab origin theory. And it's like, mm. no, they said it's extremely unlikely. First of all, you're the fucking World Health Organization. You can't give me 100%. Yeah. We- extremely unlikely is the same as it probably happened. There's no practical difference. We've also been investigating this for over a year at this point. Yeah, and we I, still don't have a clear yeah. answer. Look, it doesn't have to be like they were trying to kill people, because obviously China would have done a better job. Could, this virus is not good at killing people. When was the first time? We talked about this, like, end of last January, I think. Yeah, like so fucking it, January. It's literally been 13 months, the and Wuhan. they still have... No, yeah, that was back when we were still calling it like the Wuhan the flu Kung or, flu, or uh, yeah, yeah, China virus. I was I was one of the early proprietors of that. I stuck to it. I yeah. think my favorite is Kung flu. It just kind of rolls off the tongue a little bit. It's funny that that started out acceptable and then like two months later was not acceptable. Well, you know, Donald Trump said it. It quickly yeah. it quickly went out of vogue. Yeah. Oh, speaking of the Donald, two zero baby. <laughs> Eh, eh, it was a formality. <laughs> they were never going to take anything from him. Oh, they yeah. need the ratings. But, uh, yeah, I just, highly unlikely, I was like, guys, that's, that's not a fucking answer. What? Highly unlikely it came from the lab. Like, either they know it came from the lab. Or it didn't. Or it didn't. It should yeah. be very easy. Like, that should be one of the few things we get a definitive on. I- if you want to tell me, like, hey, we're not entirely sure uh, how it spread from this bat to this whatever, but we at least found the bat. Because I I don't want an answer from them that I could have given 13 months ago with doing no research. Like, I don't know is not a acceptable research answer. Yeah, like, of course it's unlikely. It's a fucking, like, fourth grade, uh, grade four uh, medical facility. Like, shit's not supposed to get out. But, yeah, I knew it was highly unlikely, but probable, yeah. fucking 12 months ago. I could have told them this shit. Yeah. And now we're, uh, who's New Zealand went back on lockdown, I think, last night, or maybe it was this morning, but uh, they're back on like a yeah. high level lockdown. And they just had a giant fucking concert with like 35,000 people at it. And then the next day they're like, ah, uh, we actually have coronavirus again. So we got a <laughs> lockdown. Oopsies. Good. People need to start calling their bluff. Go out and fucking party. Live your life. <laughs> Call these motherfuckers bluffs. Say, hey, you ain't going to actually kill me. Because I don't see enough people. Like, the state of Florida should be dead. <laughs> yeah. There should be nobody left. New, the New Zealand one made me happy, though, because they, for the last, whatever, six months, they've been uh, on their high horse about how they managed to eradicate the virus and uh, how it wasn't just because they're in the middle of fucking nowhere say, in a small country. They're a fucking isolated island. That's but, like uh, that's how that's what Dana White did for the UFC. Oh man, I watched so many UFC fights. I watched like eight UFC events yesterday. I was just going <laughs> through Fight Pass. Does it make you feel better watching other men get punched in the head when you have a hangover? It does actually. It does make <laughs> me feel better. At least his brain's getting rattled like yours. It's nice to see someone get their shit pushed in. Get the whole experience from the comfort of your home. Yeah, it was entertaining that fight. Did you watch the fight on uh, yesterday? No, I haven't watched that one yet. Oh. They they don't put it up on uh, Fight Pass until like way after, unless the Fight Pass gives you the undercard, but you still have to pay for the main card, which is kind of bullshit. The fuck is that? Why? So, Who wants to pay for the undercard? So you gotta wait until uh, I don't know. I don't know how long it takes. It's like a month or something before they actually put it up. But it doesn't matter. I I just I'll skip all the fights for like two months and then just chain watch them. Man, the internet is undefeated. The day Dana White can keep me from getting a free stream is the day the internet no longer exists. I know. I feel like paying for Fight Pass should be good enough. Like, you already got some money out of me. I could just be stealing these. That's what I used to do. I mean, yeah, I'm going to keep doing it because I don't support that bullshit. Yeah, I don't support paying $60 for every main event. fuck that. Especially when they're doing an event, like, every week at this point. They're the only sport. Yeah. Although, you know who the only person was almost as drunk as you this week was uh, Tom Brady at that parade. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, fucking Tom was stumbling. It was good to see. I ain't seen Tom Brady that drunk before. He's uh, And I know he was drunk because he blamed it on avocado tequila. Avocado Kyle, tequila? I don't know if that was actually what he drank. I think that was just a joke, but in, that's how drunk Tom Brady was. That uh, that sounds like the whitest shit ever. That sounds like the most rich white person <laughs> yeah. in my entire life. He fucking threw the Lombardi trophy 
they were doing like a boat parade uh-huh. and he just chucked it to Gronk like four boats over. Really? Oh, uh, Tom was so fucking drunk. Holy <laughs> shit. Tom was almost as drunk as Gronkowski was. Has anyone broken the NFL trophy before? I've seen people like drop the uh, college football, that glass thing they give them. Uh, yeah, Gronk dented the last one because he <laughs> used it as a baseball bat <laughs> <laughs> when he was probably hammered. Which is what I appreciate. We need more drunk athletes in the world. It's a uh, testament to the uh, construction of the Stanley Cup that it hasn't completely fallen apart. Because those guys are just allowed to, like, take it for a day and go out on the town. Oh, they drink out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you can do anything with that cup. Ugh. But uh, the other ones are a little more prestigious, I guess. They have done anything with that cup. I'm sure they have. (laughs) Uh, So back on China, this was just a fun article. I don't exactly know what it was supposed to mean. But it was just China says it's definitely not building a time machine. And I was like, well, that's reassuring. Why would they have to come out and say that? Just in case. So a leaked PowerPoint. Okay. Now I always question the legitimacy of a PowerPoint. <laughs> yeah, unless it's not it's exactly coming. hard to fake a yeah. PowerPoint. At this point, the only person using PowerPoint is David Wilcox. So <laughs> I question anybody going with that. But a leaked PowerPoint uh, indicated they were creating some sort of electromagnetic device that could theoretically prolong life. Okay. But uh-huh. it was also kind of one of the things where it was like, but it could also let you be in stasis and travel to the future. That You're not really is... traveling to the future, but a little bit. It sounds kind of cool. Yeah. It sounds interesting. Now, China has refuted it. Well, I mean, I would assume we'd use something that could put you in a stasis for like a trip to Mars. So well, you don't have to be awake in a spaceship for six months. Yeah. I mean, that would kind of be one of the primary functions. What it kind of reminded me of was... How in ancient aliens they talk about how like the king's chamber was like a, a source where they funneled all the magnetic energy and it could oh, and, yeah. revitalize you and shit. Mm-hmm. That was what it kind of reminded me of because it's like a box you go like sit in, I guess. I don't know. I, I, does it say anything about how it's theoretically supposed to work or uh, it, how it it's really constructed? Is, it's really just saying it's using some sort of electromagnetic frequency to, I guess... They say, like, tap into the fabric of space. I don't know. They don't actually ever explain what that means. Um, well, I already figured out time travel. If they just gave everyone, like, 80 beers and uh, <laughs> six Ambien, Ambien yeah. <laughs> I think. We actually discovered the formula. Yeah, yeah why? no, I've, I'm well ahead of them. Yeah, catch someone, up, China. Someone get us Bill Gates. Now, the problem is some people might not wake up from that. Well, but look. But if you can wake listen, up. Listen, some people don't come back from time travel. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, some people get listen, lost. There's some sacrifice. It's all in the name of science. Yeah. You got to take risks to get good rewards. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, I'm not even sure what I'd go back in time and stop. I think I'd just go forward in time and be like, fuck this shit. Uh, there's always the cliche Hitler, but I, I feel, I, I kind of believe in the butterfly effect. And I feel like doing that would greatly disturb the future. Because like, you would become Hitler? <laughs> yeah. That or, well, just because it, it's such a big event. Like, uh, you've read uh, 11263, right? Yeah, yeah well, he stops the, the JFK assassination. It yeah. fucks everything up. JFK nukes the Russians. Spoiler alert. But, uh, yeah, so I, I worry, like, I would be okay with changing minute things, but changing the course of the world for 12 years seems like it would fuck something up. See, that's, that's a long time to disturb uh, the fabric of reality. See, that's why I'm flipping at 180. I'm going forward. Fuck the past. I'm not trying to save this shit. I'm out. Where I'm would see you... if they figured it out in 100 years or so. How how far forward, though? I'd start at 100 and go 100 after that until the world isn't fucked. <laughs> until or until world... it's over. Either one. Until there's nothing. Yeah, either one. I, I might, if I could take money with me, I might go back to when I could get a house for like $6 and go to college for 50 cents. <laughs> like, for a, buy, buy a house for 30 grand. Yeah, I just retire. Uh, yeah. Buy a house for, for 12 grand in Kentucky and just live with the racists. Uh, you know, our generation really got fucked in that we sent a lot of us to war, but they didn't even get to come back to cheap houses. No. 
Well, especially where we live, you can't get. Yeah. I mean, other other states, you can still get a house for like a hundred k. Here, you you're not getting anything. Get a cardboard box for hundred k. Yeah, you're not getting anything in L.A. for under like six fifty. And yeah. that would be a very small house. Because that was like the whole, like, join the army. You'll be good, son. Like, yeah, you'll get you a get house the... and a wife. Like, okay, <laughs> sure, <laughs> sign me up, Uncle Sam. I'm not going to college. Yeah. Well, they let you do that, too, though. You got the, the GI Bill. You got a house. You got college. Yeah, but now I don't you afford got shit. Post-traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> that's true. You definitely Shell got, pe- hey, that's how you get the Xanax. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like, at least you used to get shot at, and he could come back and be like, well, I got a two-bedroom house. Wife, yeah. it, I'm it, college is paid for. Now it's just like, what do you got? Here's ten grand, son. Try to make rent. Yeah, I yeah. have a, a severe mental disorder. Have fun and with that. No money. Yeah, and, I feel. I feel like they, we got a raw deal on that one. I don't know. We'll find out because China seemed like they'd be up to something. I still, I still would never join the army. Now, do yeah. you think this this uh, particular article here is just China trying to get its like QAnon feet wet and how Russia? Played those retards for fools. China's like, I think oh, we could have do that. <laughs> just kind of pretend they have super advanced tech. Yeah, like yeah. they're just drawing up fake blueprints and shit. Like, yeah, we go on to uh, travel to the future. If I were a high level like state official, I would do that all the time. Cause that's See re- how gullible these retards are. Oh yeah, I keep. I reading, would do nothing but fuck with them. I can I read this article detailing like the history of all the people who stormed the Capitol, and it's just like, oh, they were all in huge debt. Uh, probably lost a job. You don't get into these things because your life's going well. It was yeah. so funny. It's like, oh, so these are the insurrectionists? Yeah. But uh, I, I do wonder if all the other foreign countries are like, oh, these Americans have gotten stupid. Yeah. Let's see what we can get them to believe. Oh, I think they're, they're definitely laughing at us. Cause, oh, yeah. Because now hear me out. What if all the other countries teamed up, became QAnon just to fuck with us? I, you know what? That'd be so funny. I wouldn't even be mad. Not I even get, like, not even like on anything important. Just like to piss us off over like Black Lives Matter and shit. The the QAnon forums are they're still trying to hold the line, but uh, they're they're losing. Not really. really. They're losing the faith a little. I have been curious to see how they're going to respond to the fact that pretty much every single one of these people getting charged is going to flip on the Donald at some point. Yeah, I don't. They were begging. To be witnesses against him, the second they realized they were getting real time, that fucking shaman didn't get his fucking organic meat and was like, "I'm out." What do you want me to say? Uh, I'm still not convinced they're going to charge Trump. They're not, but I wonder what the QAnons think that their comrades in arms turned. Uh, well, they think turned tail real fucking fast. They think those guys were Antifa and Black Lives Matter. Yeah, they don't believe that it was QAnon. No, but Black Lives Matter and Antifa weren't getting arrested. No, they think the people, the news is claiming, or are claiming, are QAnon, are actually, like, they think the, the shaman is Antifa, and they think, uh, like, the person who stole the podium is Antifa or Black Lives Matter. They just, no matter what happens, they just flip reality so it fits what they believe. It's kind of impressive. It's, it's, it's like... It's a superpower. It's yeah. a fucking superpower. It's like a, a monumentally retarded version of The Secret. Like, where you, you do manifest if your you own reality. The, if you trust the plan enough. But the way you're manifesting it is just by not believing in reality. You think those dudes wish they could go back in time and would have brought their guns? The the people who stormed the Capitol? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to do 10 years in prison, you might, might as well. Go on the fight. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, they have detailed some of, like, the Oath Keepers and some of these other motherfuckers oh who God. actually were saying some inflammatory shit. Now, of course, they were saying stupid shit on the Internet. It's the Internet. But uh, I do wonder if, in hindsight, they're like, man, I fucking should have brought my AR. Yeah. That, I mean, I guess they, they failed their mission. They were trying to save the Donald, and they weren't able to pull it off. Yeah, I do. I mean, I don't know. I, I kind of do wish, like, they'd have thrown down at this point. I'm curious to see what they'd have done. It was kind of a disappointing end to a years-long saga. Because from what I've read in Myanmar, most insurrections don't end after one shot. No. No, no you kind of got to keep going. <laughs> now, it was funny seeing that video of that uh, the cop get Romney out of the hallway because they were, like, coming right towards the entrance he was, like, leaving from. And I was like, yeah, you know, if they'd have seen Romney, they, they might have fucked him up. I'm not oh, going to lie. No, they yeah. would have killed that man. I mean, they probably would have zip-tied him and, like, 
then it would have gotten all sorts of crazy. Yeah, yeah, they're they're not a fan of. Uh, well, they're really not a fan of anyone. They anymore. don't fucking like anybody, man. It's hilarious. It's they're only just mad. Trump, and even then, he's kind of on the outs with uh with them, because now apparently Trump was. I don't even fucking know what they're on anymore. It's like Trump was uh, a false flag or something. Trump, <laughs> false like, prophet. He was the false flag? <laughs> yeah. Well, for a while, what they had switched to was Biden was actually the proper leader for Q or some shit. Like they, once again, they'll literally just, no matter what happens, they just Biden is Q. change it to whatever makes them still believe in Q. So if that's Biden being Q, sure, you just gotta roll with it. That script's gonna have a lot of rewrites. Oh yeah, I I wish someone would put together like a fully comprehensive timeline of their beliefs, just to see how many times it changed for the more ridiculous. I'm sure I someone mean, has. Honestly, you can just follow the Q drops because it started. That motherfucker himself starts contradicting himself all over the place. Like it started a little crazy, but it wasn't. All the way crazy. I think, I think once Jeff Sessions didn't pan, pan out, that was their last like logical way they thought this could work. Yeah, the first few times they get they got dealt a major loss is really where it took a shift for the the bizarre. Well, that's a classic move. Like if you lay out a prediction and it goes belly up, you just come with some even crazier, and they forget about the last one. Yeah, just double down, and go crazier. Oh, yeah. Jeff Sessions isn't part of the plan. Well, JFK Jr. is coming back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can't disprove that, can you? No. Did it, you see the body? Hmm. And that's always the hmm. the right thing to do in that situation, if you're the cult leader, is to make a statement that can't be disproven or proven. I but, mean, this is the only thing David is doing right at the moment. Is well, talk, he's, you mean? Yeah, he's saying stuff that doesn't have any way you could prove or disprove it. Although his subreddit is kind of turned on him, too. They're, they were just like, what the fuck happened to him? <laughs> he, uh, they, we went from synchronicity key in the source field investigations to talking about QAnon. And Man, <laughs> more shine for us. It was more fun I, when conspiracies were still in the just bizarre shit. It like, is weird living in the age where it's not just like something we find funny, but like CNN just has to report on QAnon because they don't. Want it to fucking go away because the ratings are good? Well, I can't even find, like, the conspiracies I like. Like, I can't find shit about Bigfoot or, or the Mothman. Bigfoot's some not Q. Ridiculous yeah. shit. Oh, wait. I, I got a new theory. Oh, no. Uh, Bigfoot is Q. Damn. I don't know how that makes sense. Q-foot? Q-foot, <laughs> yeah. Q-foot. He's sure just got folks. Q shaved in his chest. <laughs> like a fucking frat boy at a football game? Well, because Q, is, or Q, uh, Bigfoot, who is Q, um, is supposed to be like an interdimensional being. Yeah, so yeah, he would have that's one superpowers. Of the so not too far. And it makes more sense for a fantastical beast to have special capabilities over just some douche in the government. You're just going to dehumanize him like that? Well, I would believe Damn. a magical... Bigfoot is a person, okay? No, no. Bigfoot's magical. What I'm saying is Q... Ah, Q. Who is Bigfoot. Uh, <laughs> but uh, what they believe is it's just like some dude in the government or military, right? Or it's the, the Department of... That's uh, what they tell themselves now, yes. it the Department of Energy? Well, they don't know that. They just know that he's military intelligence. Because that's where Q-level intelligence comes from, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's the only department with it. Yeah, it makes more sense that someone with magical powers would be able to accomplish everything he was supposedly going to accomplish. I mean, I guess there is our one example. Maybe the butterfly effect isn't as much as we think because Q went back in time and couldn't even fix a fucking election. Yeah, what a failure. Maybe it's harder than we think. Yeah. Do you think Q's ever coming back, like Q drops or ever? Nah. Because we're, we're at, nah. at over this, two months at this point. At this point, with what the them seem to be willing to do, I think they probably track him down and find who the fuck he is and bring him in front of a court just to just to hang him in front of everybody. Oh, yeah. Because at this point, they've, I mean, they've already floated the idea of doing like 9-11 style fucking <laughs> interviews with some of these insurrectionists. And I'm sure if Q started popping off at the mouth again, they'd be like, nope, nope, find him. Because they know who the fuck he is. We got yeah. the NSA. I mean, most people assume it's Jim Watkins or yeah. his so, son. I assume they're just going to fuck right off and 
keep it moving. Of course, if they ever arrested Q, the Q folks would not believe that was Q. Oh, yeah. They would. I honestly don't know what it would take. I, I don't think there's anything. Like, I literally don't think there's any way for them to uh, get removed from the cult. I, I, there's just, there's no method of awakening them. See, this is the problem when you tie your eternal salvation to a fucking stupid 4chan uh, troll. They fucked up. Because you could have aborted this if it wasn't like, no, Jesus sent Q. It's like, well, Jesus can't be wrong. Yeah, Jesus is Q. Man can fail. I will but, say uh, that's one of the things I noticed the shift in with Q is like the first year and a half, not very many Bible verses. Heavy on the Bible verses well, this last two years. he was playing to his audience. Once he realized uh, who was picking up on this, he, he leaned into it. I mean, yeah, someone definitely got in his ear, but I don't... It was I, fan service. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. pretty much. I mean, hey, it got a lot of people through four years. Now, uh, they ruined the rest of their life, but they had a good four years. I mean, when we had Q, there was never a slow conspiracy week like this one. Now, I would love to go, like... Re- Recruit uh, QAnons like Nazi scientists and just have them be like Operation Paperclip. Yeah, be like part of our army. Like, you guys can research whatever the fuck you want. Just tell us every week and we'll report it like it's the truth. Just QAnon news? Yeah, no, not even Q related. Like, let them branch out. They're their own people. They're just good at research and shit. They really need to uh, expand their. Maybe that's how they'll, they'll shift out of this, is just expanding the sphere of investigation expanding the q cinematic universe yeah i mean yeah look they believe some stuff that led them a bit astray who hasn't <laughs> yeah. yeah but they developed some useful skills yeah they, they learned how to not verify sources <laughs> and find the dumbest yeah. fucking things on the internet and they believe learned them. how to raid the capital definitely a few but some of them actually did some good and thorough work and i'd love them to help us ruin people's lives yeah they really did they did thorough work because it's just It'd be like if I just took a bunch of two by fours and put a bunch of nails in them, but I didn't actually like build anything. <laughs> like I still was doing the work of fucking nailing everything in. I just didn't accomplish anything with it. Well, so you that's because that that's because <laughs> the instructions up. you got from Russia yeah. were telling you to try and make it the wrong way. But if we got them and we're like, "Hey, knock it off. Let's focus on the pedophiles." Someone needs to channel their energy into something more uh, I was productive. Why I was going to say become yeah. the new Q. No, nah, I don't want that on my head. I don't want to take Bigfoot's job. But <laughs> I will be their mouthpiece if they want to keep doing their thing. The because they really did get just executed off social media. Twitter is really quite boring now. Even the uh, anti-vax shit is like gone now. It's, well, it was it was a real good purge. They've uh, they've gotten rid of all the fun kooky people. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. They're they're killing the internet. I don't know. I think it'll probably be good for the mental health of everyone on Twitter, but eh. it's less fun. We'll find out how bad echo chamber chambers are. Well, maybe they'll get Parlor back up. I don't think so. No, but, uh, I don't think <laughs> Parlor's coming back for a while. Yeah, I think Parler's they still dead. got Gab. I guess I haven't checked Gab. Gab is like pivoted a little bit to be like super Christian. So now people post like. Bible verses and shit. Why, why it's is like, everyone going Christian? Am like, I missing something? Because they're Did trying God to come back and I God. missed it. Because Barack Obama canceled Christmas. Uh, <laughs> he took the Christ out of Christmas. Yeah, I don't know. These people don't go to church. They just, I don't know. They want something to belong to and the church will take you. Well, that's yeah. the thing. None of them are like actually religious. Anybody who decided Donald Trump was sent by Jesus didn't read the book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they read the cliff notes. Yeah, because he, he ain't the one. He ain't the type. The spark no. notes. All right. What, spark uh, notes for the Bible, you heathen? <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> it's Sunday, god damn it. Yeah. What? I was thinking of trying to, like, finagle away into Clubhouse. Uh, but I yeah, couldn't you figure need it a, out. You need an invite. What's I don't Clubhouse? know anyone. It's, uh, it's an app where you... Uh, it's pretty you just much talk with a bunch of people. It's like Zoom, but I was gonna say it's private. Much, it's just a group like phone call. Yeah, you can have a bunch of people in the group. It's mostly like celebrities right now because you need uh, you need an invite from someone to be able to join. Yeah, I just keep Tim Dillon tweets about it, and it just seems retarded. Yeah, Royce Royce the Five Nine was talking about it. And I was like, man, everyone's fucking on this app. I've never seen anything from it. Like I, I don't think it's technically like open yet. I think it's in like a beta phase or some shit. I don't know that they're or ever private. gonna open it. Yeah, I think 
the allure is that it's private so that the simpletons can't get on it. Well, you like saw us. that the commoners, you saw yeah. that stupid chick from the New York Times who reports on uh, TikTok like it's real life uh, got popped for sneaking into one of the clubhouse things and reporting on it. I think they were talking about someone, they were talking about the Wall Street Stocks uh, subreddit. Oh, uh, Wall, Wall Street, Street Bets. Yeah, yeah. Yes. subreddit. And uh, I guess it was literally in the conversation. They were talking about how those dudes call themselves Reddit retards. Yeah. <laughs> and she reported that like they said the R word. Yeah, they they call themselves like diamond handed retards. Yeah, and then just all the people who are part of the conversation, like, yes, that's what they call themselves. We were discussing the people on that subreddit. Like that's it was a quote. And that's, it's just it's just like I think that's why you would want to keep it private. That's one of the few good things that has come out of COVID is everyone kind of stopped giving a fuck about language for the most part. Except, like, once we got through the Black Lives Matter protests and we were just all fucking stuck in this thing for another year, everyone was kind of like, yeah, you know what? I don't have a job right now. I don't got time to uh, be angry at people on Twitter for saying retard. Uh, I mean, to be honest, it's kind of gone how I thought it would because we're just reliving the 60s. Yeah. So eventually people realized the hippies just like, you stupid fucks didn't actually mean any of this shit. You were just high. Yeah, you just wanted to do drugs. Yeah, so with like the PC <laughs> Shut shit. Shut the fuck up. With the PC shit, it's the same thing. It's like, you just got picked on. Stop telling people what they can say. Yeah, you just wanted to off. bully someone. Yeah, eventually people were always going to tire out of that shit. It wasn't sustainable. No, no. It was, uh, they came out with too much gusto and they burned out. It's like someone running the uh, the 400 or something. You can't, can't go full sprint. Well, at this point, it's just like a parody. Like now the shit they're doing is just like. It's gotten to the point where everybody's like, I don't know about this one, man. I think you guys are going a little too far well, here. Well, it's like what happened with the, the Me Too movement, where eventually they were going after his, uh, Aziz Ansari because he bought the girl, like, red wine instead of white wine. There oh, was that like, one, all right. What? <laughs> that one was painful, especially because he took, like, a legit year off after that. Yeah, he did. Uh, he got popped for, he had, a cons he had consensual sex after a date, and then, I don't know, a day or two later, she decided... She wasn't comfortable and retroactively accused him of... It was essentially just a very awkward date, and then she accused him of rape. Yeah, she, like, retroactively did it, though, and it was that was the first time I was like, wait, I, I don't Although, think that should be allowed. Come on now. You know what? Someone did just get canceled. Uh, Gina Carano. Oh, she got yeah. kicked out of the, uh, the Disney movie for... I don't even know what she said. It was oh, because she paired being a Republican to being a Jew the during Holocaust. the Nazi reign. Yeah. Not because the Nazis were bad, but because they hated the Jews so much in Germany that just they good Germans them. were beating Jews. I'm going to go watch a Gina Carano fight when I get back. <laughs> you know who she's making a movie for now? Yeah, the, the Daily Wire. <laughs> ben Shapiro. Oh, that show's so funny. You think he gets a biopic? I, I like Maybe. that... Uh, she came out and she was like, now I get to do what I truly wanted to do. It's like, yeah, yeah I'm sure you want to make a movie for the Daily Fucking Wire instead of yeah, Disney. You, yeah, you want to miss that Wars? bag. Star yeah, Wars, wasn't Star it? Wars. Yeah, yeah. What, do they, what do they pay per episode of The Mandalorian? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to guess uh, I'm gonna guess Star Wars pays a bit better than uh, Ben the Shapiro. <laughs> uh, ben Shapiro's a short man, but I think his money's pretty tall. Yeah. But I don't think it's that tall. No, no, yeah. he's not, he's not uh, Disney rich. I'd love them to just see like them knock off Star Wars, but make it super conservative. Oh, they uh, just like Luke and Leia look at each other and like blush, and it's too much. Fuck, there was there was a movie in the seventies that was just an exact ripoff of Star Wars, but much worse CGI. It was Spaceballs. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I love space, Spaceballs. That's a classic. They yeah. they did. Uh, an episode on the the newer version of Mystery Science Theater about the movie, and it's it was fucking god awful. <laughs> <laughs> Although if you go back and watch, like S Star Wars wasn't a great movie. Yeah, it, it was. It, it's a comic book turned into a movie. Like I liked it when I was eight. I mean, they're I white. Don't like it now. They're just white samurais. Yeah, with I, laser yeah. swords. I wouldn't sit down and watch Star Wars currently. How come no one's accused the Jedi of fucking cultural appropriation? <laughs> I, I don't know. They, 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 I guess Jedi mind trick, they can control them. Like, yeah. did samurais not exist in the galaxy far, far away? No. Remember, it was a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. So it was way before we were around. So they predated the samurai? Yeah. Yeah. So the samurai actually appropriated Jedi culture. Holy shit. I would like to know what Earth year it is in terms of that universe. I've never 
cared enough to look it up. I I don't know that they've ever said. I, it, granted, I haven't read any I of the books. I haven't seen or, a single Star Wars movie, so I couldn't tell you. Yeah, I haven't seen any of the recent ones. Like, That's the most Gen Z thing he's ever said. <laughs> I just, Holy shit. I agree with that, though. Fuck Star Wars. It just seems kind of I didn't think he doesn't have to like it, but have not even seen a single Star Wars. That's... Uh, it's gonna become that's a, true you do kind of have to like the original you gotta trilogy watch you it's gotta like watch the godfather you, yeah, gotta watch you gotta watch it. them you're gonna regret the third one but you're gonna watch them yeah <laughs> like it sucks but whatever most of them suck the new ones were terrible to be honest they just had much better graphics i didn't really like the godfather either though oh granted i don't like movies well, The Godfather's too long a movie for you to sit through. Yeah, I mean, Godfather 2 is fine. But you can make it through like a 90-minute movie tops. You barely. <laughs> yeah. Barely. Yeah, you can't do three-and-a-half-hour movies. No you no Lord of the Rings. You the ain't Irish built for like, it. I've never finished Return of the King because it's fucking four-and-a-half hours long on the DVD, and I just I can't, I can't spend half a day watching a movie. You didn't even read the book? Uh, no, no. You illiterate the, fuck. The only book I've read from him. <laughs> Am I the only one who reads? Yeah. No, I read a fuckload, but Tolkien's not a great writer. His his writing is very fucking boring. But the PTSD. Yeah, <laughs> I think it comes out in his writing. He got bombed into writing fake languages. Well, didn't C.S. Lewis even told him, he's like, the, the hobbits suck, man. <laughs> like, this isn't good. He was just jealous. Probably. He was uh, worried it was going to take his Narnia... Pretty Narnia much. Steam. I do wonder if they viewed each other as, oh, I guess not really, because Tolkien wasn't that popular until, like, he was dead. But they were friends, yes. Yeah, so I think they taught at the same no, they school were, they or, were very or close something friends. like that. Yeah, they were like the Biggie and Tupac of <laughs> literature. <laughs> literature, yeah. Except they didn't, they didn't die. Oh, I wish they would have. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That, that's a way worse atrocity. Did you not like the Somalian? The fucking a book of appendixes? Oh, no. <laughs> they really did take his shit like Tupac's old recordings, just like combed just, through it. Can you cut these together and splice it? We need to do another double LP. Yeah, I mean, how many times have they re released The Hobbit? Uh, they, it's like Harry Potter is starting to do this too, where they re release the books like yeah. every year in a slightly different. Check out this shiny new cover. That is what the new one is. It's, yeah. the, the spine is just shiny. They talked about doing like an HBO Max uh, Harry Potter series. Uh, and there were just a bunch of articles that were like, nah, we don't want this. Pass. They I, hate J.K. Rowling so much. Yeah. Well, yeah. I I think I could I could deal with that. Like, a uh, Harry Potter series would probably be better than the movies, just because you get to cover more of the material. But No, they wouldn't remake the books. I think this would be new material. Oh. Now, um, I don't know what she's got left in the cupboard. I don't yeah. know. Her, her last book, that uh, the one she wrote under the dude's name was fine. The the Robert Goldbraith book book that everyone said was the the transphobic one she should write another one and show up to the book signing dressed in drag just to fuck with the <laughs> trans community just Aww. dress like a man yeah she should that be really, a power move because the character in this book wasn't really there wasn't really anything transphobic I, I read i read the whole book and i didn't unless i missed like a few hundred pages in the middle that's how transphobic you are. But, yeah, I didn't even... <laughs> you didn't even see it. The book is just full of tranny and <laughs> slurs. Next Harry, po next Harry Potter series, Harry Potter just calls everyone a tranny. Yeah, it's uh, instead of a wand, he just yells slurs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if they got a miniseries, there would 1,000% be nothing but a black character, white women, fucking two trans people, a gay... There wouldn't even be a straight person at the school. She did at one point try and make Hermione black. black. Yeah. yeah. No, she did make Hermione black. That was for a musical. Well, no, but she said in the book. Or the, excuse me, on Broadway. In the book, she was trying to say Hermione was black. I'd love, to have, white. I'd love to have seen her try to write a black girl convincingly. Uh, uh, that white fucking British lady trying to <laughs> write a black American, or I guess she is British in the book, but yeah. a black British girl, like that would have been hilarious. It'd be... You thought oi, she was tone deaf with white people. <laughs> oi, brof. Yeah. Oh, she would have given her an afro and shit. Oh, it would be way worse in hindsight <laughs> just now. Just super stereotypical. Yeah, I mean, that's all she did. That book is nothing but fucking tropes. Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's, look, that's also not a great... I mean, the, the first couple books are not great. Some of the later ones are fine. Look, I'm okay with... children's books, so... I'm okay with being fairly generic. I don't mind it if you do it well. But you, we don't need to call her something she's not. I mean, she was using stereotypes. I mean, Cho Chang. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We yeah, let that slide. Cho, Cho Chang is pretty fucking 
lazy. <laughs> you think, like, that's like ping pong or something. Yeah, it's really bad. You think China like has that edited out in their country? <laughs> it's probably a black girl in their country. I don't I, named I like what Crystal. I can't say what they. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's probably no. Let's be real. It's probably a Muslim no, girl. No, she's a Uyghur. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get it right, okay? Yeah. Loquacious NyQuil. <laughs> 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 well, it's right. Quavy on right. A very sassy black girl as the head of Slytherin. Actually, I might be able to get behind that. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be interesting. Just fucking making fun of the white kids. Yeah. <laughs> calling the Asian kids racist shit. It's all black people on the Quidditch team. <laughs> and they, right and they fucking win every year. Yeah. They just kick everybody's ass. Yeah, there'd be a black house like there's a black fraternity. That would be an interesting way to do it if they found out, like, there was a fifth house. We just couldn't find it. They could do it like that, uh, that oh, no. season of Survivor where the they separated by race. I mean, I guess they don't have to worry about black slavery in that universe because the elves are the slaves. Yeah. True. So other creatures. I don't know what they did to the black people in that universe. I assume something bad. I'm not entirely hey, sure. As, as far as I can remember, there's... They paid them less? Two black characters. They're one of the kids in... Gravender, I think, and then uh, Shackle Bolt or yeah. whatever is Kingsley Shackle Bolt. <laughs> I'd love it if in the man new those names are fucking terrible, right? I, I haven't really thought about it, but, but yeah, Kingsley Shackle Bolt, Albus Dumbledore. You think he tried to go to the Ministry of Magic and being like, "You're not paying me the same as my white coworkers. This <laughs> yeah. is discrimination." Black wizards are paid three quarters of what uh, white wizards just yeah it's gonna be on front of that fucking newspaper it's just gonna be Two a black dude compromise. showing people his contract <laughs> all right i think we've discussed harry potter enough what uh i can get behind this spinoff though <laughs> especially the only thing other thing i'd like to see if she just made gryffindor super maga <laughs> Ooh. she could she if you really wanted it'll be like fuck it they already hate me let's make him hate me even more yeah she's rich enough to where she could just write the whole next book to piss people off oh yeah I hope she does. That'd be that's what I would do That'd if I had that much That'd be the ultimate money. fuck you move. Mostly because they'd fucking buy the book. Yeah, yeah and probably. then you could just ruin the series. Yep. Well, they already have for the most part. Yeah. yeah. All right. R moving on to people who ruin childhoods. Okay. Jeffrey Epstein is back in the news. Hey. Ooh. You and I were talking about this earlier. So uh, it appears as though Jeffrey Epstein's uh, may have forced some of his young accomplices. What didn't we already talk about this? Did we talk about? Yeah, I think we started the episode with this? with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you mentioned that one. What was I yeah. going to say? Oh, no, I'm talking about the uh, the executors of this will. So they're oh. trying to not pay anybody. Wrong article. Sorry. Yeah. They were trying to not pay anybody, and uh, pretty much the judge is like, "You need to fucking pay up." Oh, you're talking about uh, the victims' fund thing, yeah, yeah, where yeah. they Them were just like, uh, "We ain't got money anymore." Well, they're saying like, "Oh, we got to liquidate it." Like, no, yeah. the money's gone. It's like, fuck. The judge was pretty much just like, "Fuck you." The money's not gone. Find it. Well, good, because yeah, they they've only paid out. It's like fifty or sixty million. Apparently, they had over six hundred million. Oh, it's one of the things I find really funny about it is they're just slow. They're slow balling everything. I mean, they're filing every appeal. They're paying the. It's like someone trying to pay off their student loans at this point. Yeah, they're of course, paying the you, bare you fucking minimum, it. and they're hoping in five years they can just claim bankruptcy. Yeah, they don't. They want to drag this like as long as possible. They're they're not the ones in trouble. Well, it's just funny that they could just like pay and have this go away, but instead they're like, no, we're gonna make you fucking beg for every penny. Has <laughs> anyone come out with how much they're actually paying these girls? Uh, or I guess women now. So I, there was a ruling that because Ghislaine wanted to be able to mention how much each one was getting paid uh, when they were on the stand testifying, <laughs> I, I assume, because she wanted to make it seem like they were yeah, getting they paid were getting to paid. lie. <laughs> but the judge was like, no, we're not doing that. Yeah, I guess that's probably the right move. So I think it'll be unannounced until her trial's over. I would guess. What is her trial? Uh, it starts, actually, I think I think it's in, what is it, in a few months? Uh. I want to say March or April, actually. Oh, Jesus, we got fucking George Floyd's coming up soon. Oh, get your fucking... When's that? Wait, when's that? Get your wood boards, everybody. Oh. Uh, it's in March, ain't it? Oh, shit, really? Oh, boy. I thought it already happened. The fuck? No, oh. no. This is the actual trial. This God, is. Damn it. This was what concerned me more than the initial incident. Because this is where it's going to get fun. We, we haven't talked about this for a while, and we won't talk about it too much, but God, I hope that jury knows this is a blood sacrifice because... <laughs> Yeah, this is... Uh, I don't have a gun, and I don't want to see what L.A. looks like. Oh, I mean, after the, the last round of uh, riots here, yeah, I don't, I don't want to go through it. Like, can't, yeah. can't everyone just stop fucking being a dick for five minutes? 
Just, like, just, ex- just chill the fuck out. For I get it was fucked up. Like, well, just execute this cop. Like, let's just. <laughs> yeah. Look, white people ain't gonna be mad. Like, we sacrifice we've, him for the greater good. <laughs> yeah, we've taken a lot of W's. We'll gladly sacrifice this elf. It means we don't have to fucking put out the fires. And for those of you about to leave comments, I don't give a fuck. I don't. I don't care about okay. your your theories about uh, Chauvin or I. I don't care what you Chauvin have to is say. Chauvin's Q. No, didn't <laughs> you know that George Floyd was Patrice O'Neal? <laughs> and uh, fuck, uh, what's the dude from the NBA? I showed you the picture. Was Stephen Jackson? <laughs> that was one Merged of my favorite. Together. It was. It was from one of the Q posts. I think it was one of the Anons. But yeah, it was fucking Patrice O'Neal and Stephen Jackson, and he just took like a face. Uh, it really did app. look. No, that's literally uh, yeah. what they. That's who they used. That's. Uh, they were saying that George Floyd was a CGI deep fake. <laughs> and they created him using those two faces. Man, CGI is really going to fuck a lot of shit up because now you any video you don't like that you see, you can just be like, that's CGI. That never happened. I mean, it's to the point where, like, the Justice Department is already starting to be like, how the fuck do we handle this? I think there's... At this point, it's still early enough that there's enough there's in the code that you some, can find yeah, it. Yeah, like digital yeah. encoding. But it's going to be hor- The audio is already going to be a problem. But the it, audio is going to be probably more problematic than video. Yeah, we talk, I talked about that uh, that one website the other episode where you can like read a 10-minute sample and then you can just type in whatever and it'll read it in your voice. And it's astonishingly good. Yeah, those are already horrifying. So, yeah, at some point there's going to be people on the dark web where they can just, like, CGI a video of you fucking a kid and then put your voice in it and it's just reading off your social security number and shit. Now, maybe blackmail will become so prevalent that it means nothing. Because if it gets overused, you could be like, that's fucking fake, man. I didn't say that. That's going to be a sweet gig for the, uh, the digital artists with no moral scruples. I mean, that's, that's, you can be able to make a lot of money to be able to frame someone for pretty much any crime. You mean 4chan? Yeah, yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Some of those people. Yeah. Oh, oh no, it's going to be, it will almost be too easy to commit. Yeah, to you might be it, right. Like, it, to make it worth it. It's it's going to be so ubiquitous at some point that it, it won't necessarily matter. Which is fascinating because that was always one of those things that would have been considered like, smoking gun evidence of a conspiracy is like we got him on tape saying it yeah it's gonna be great for murderers and rapists or anybody committing like any sort of real high collar like white collar crime i would just wear a mask that makes my face look pixelated (laughs) no no see my face wasn't buffering (laughs) i ain't the officer yeah no no you see this is lag here i didn't say that at all you're you're misinterpreting it well we did watch i think you're barely conscious for this at that point we watched the (laughs) was it the elisa lamb thing yeah, I don't remember that. Yeah, it wasn't. It was all right. I don't know. <laughs> it was so funny because I watched that video the first time when they're playing it in the documentary. I was like, "Oh, she's hallucinating." I was uh, like, "Yeah, she." I, was, l- I know what she was doing because she did the same thing I did when I was on psychosis. And you're like walking up to shit, and it's not until you get right there that it disappears. Like I knew what she was doing. It, I could see what was happening. It's sort of like the the reverse of draw image in a video game where where you're driving along and a tree just pops up on the side of the road. Yeah. Yeah, it's just shit'll disappear on you. Now, this is why I didn't leave the house because I knew I could have ended up in a water tank. Yeah, you could have <laughs> climbed climbed a ladder and then felt like it's odd that she went up there though. It's impressive she climbed up the first ladder to get there without falling that fucked up. Because if I was hallucinating, like I assume she was, because it looked like psychosis, that would have scared the living shit out of me. Because that, the uh, fucking, the ladder up to the roof has nothing behind it. So if you fall, you're gone. Unless she was just trying to kill herself. But I don't think anyone kills themselves by jumping in a water tank. Like if you're already on top of the building, just jump off. Yeah, nah, drowning yourself is really not some a way anybody really goes. It makes way more sense that she was hallucinating, fucking jumped in, and then didn't realize she couldn't get out. Man, what a shitty way to go. And you know how you know it's a good hotel? When they don't find out until you got black water coming out. Yeah, I know. How many people faucets? drank Elisa Lamb water? Uh, uh, or bathed in it? <laughs> oh, but that was the note I did. So at one point they... Really, the documentary is just about how the internet really does terrible things sometimes. I do know in the last episode they talk a lot of shit about the the web sleuths. So they talk about synchronicities, and they use that word specifically. (gasps) um, Because there are some interesting ones, like connecting her to 
uh, fuck, what was it? It was like a tuberculosis vaccine or some shit. <laughs> what? Like, there are, yeah, there are some interesting things. Cause like, I, f- I forget exactly what, but either the name of the vaccine or the name of the drug, it's like, it's literally her name reversed. Oh <laughs> yeah. There's, and there's a few other, like there are some really weird shit. My favorite one is there's this dude who does like really goth fucking like metal music mm. from Mexico. And they eventually just accuse him of having murdered her. Cause he at one point had stayed at the hotel and just had like weird videos where he talks about like killing people and shit. Those those web sleuths are a cancer on society. Oh, they interview that guy in the last thing after he's finally gotten back to Mexico and he's just like, I regret it so much. I'm so mad at them. He's like, they've ruined my life. Like it will never not follow me. And they do that shit all the time. The 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 web sleuths forum will just like pick someone who's the perpetrator of a crime and then just harass them. And then later it'll turn out not to be true. And they're like, yeah, but all the evidence was there. So I'm not an asshole. Well, the best thing about this is like, there was no evidence. He stayed at the hotel a year before she was ever there for like two days. He's a time traveler. though, And he lived in Mexico. So it was like, you guys literally just saw his music videos and they are fucking creepy, but they're Marilyn Manson creepy minus the rape. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. But yeah, it was just so funny watching his interview and he was like, they ruined my life. I wish they hadn't done that. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd be happy if they didn't ruin my life too. Now yeah. I would argue some of the music he put out was going to do some damage to him because it, uh, it was a little weird. A little shocking. But yeah, it was funny watching the evolution of the... And I think you should not be called an internet sleuth. That's it's just so gay. Yeah, you should be called a dumbass with a keyboard. Yeah. Like that's it, that's all you are. You're using Google. At least the Anons had the decency to just call themselves researchers. Yeah. it's uh, That's as deep as I'll let you go. But yeah, after that, I feel like their internet sleuth card should be uh, yanked. Well. Because one dude was breaking down video. He's trying to figure out if she like punched a fucking secret code, playing things backwards. And it's like... The simplest explanation is usually right. Now, I get why they might have seen that video and not realized she was hallucinating. Because, of course, they were all like, maybe she took bad acid. It's like, acid don't make you trip like that. No, no. Acid, unless you take like 10 hits of it, you're not going to... You'd have to take way more than that. But, yeah, she was she was in the midst of psychosis. Now, of course, this is how you know these internet sleuths are dweebs. Yeah. Uh, Go get fucked up, you losers. That and half of them obviously just like wanted to fuck her. Oh, yeah. I yeah. mean, that's that's the majority of these crimes. Yeah. It's just people who obviously want to fuck the other person. Yeah. But it is fascinating to see how much damage YouTube used to be able to do before they clamped down Started, on it. Started uh, the cleansing. Yeah, wiping some people out. But I did notice, because that documentary really did shift away from being about her at all, that there's been a lot of press about how online uh, content creators are the problem. Uh, uh, I, they kind of are. I think. I think yeah. they're coming for us. I. Th- I mean, oh, there's a lot of really shitty people on the internet. Like, oh, I don't yeah. necessarily disagree with that. There's, there's a bunch of people who the world would be better off if they were not allowed to voice their opinions. Yeah, yeah, but couldn't you say that about people we love? Yeah, of course. They would say that about rap the news. Listen, I still think they should be able to voice their opinions. It's just they're, without a doubt, harming people. Like, there's, rap the news is bad for people. Or, or do we just need to teach kids to stop taking the internet so fucking seriously? I, I don't even know if it's mostly kids. I think it's the older generations that are just That's sort true. of. There are a lot of sensitive older folks out there. Internet illiterate. They don't know how to tell when something's a joke or. Oh, yeah. the boomers are very, they really don't ever recognize sarcasm. They take things very literally. And yeah. for some reason they believe memes. Like, if it's in a meme for... They, they love... Honestly, If when I first saw a meme, if you'd have told me, like, yo, this is going to... Everybody over 50, this is going to be their fucking favorite thing in the world. I've been like, the fuck out of here. The world ends in 2012. Yeah, I don't I don't <laughs> think I've laughed at a meme ever. I, I, I mean, some of them are okay. It's just hilarious that, like, older folk like them more than the younger generation do. It's, it's a yeah, twist. Kind of weird. Also, never trust... Research presented in a social media format. Like if uh, if the the image is cut to fit on Instagram, it's probably not good research. Well, that's where our generation has a leg up because that generation don't know that shit on Twitter just bullshit. Yeah, they came into it so late they were like, no, this is 
This is news. They're verified. They didn't have to learn that you couldn't use Wikipedia for a research paper. Like, they didn't <laughs> know you got to vet some of your sources because, you know, it might not be accurate. Or just, like, make sure Harriet Tubman said that quote before you post it. There's <laughs> so many fake quotes. Oh, I There's love them. There's so many. Oh, and some of them are so obvious. It's hilarious. Yeah. It's fantastic to watch. Don't dog the boys by Mahatma Gandhi. Oh, speaking of this here, we're going to pause real quick. I, I got to play you this PSA. It was on InfoWars the other day. And I legitimately thought this was a parody. Like, I thought this was a joke. I had to look. It's fucking real. It's you're, real. You're not going to believe this I'll pull shit. it up on this laptop so other folks can watch along. Yeah, all right. We'll be out in a second. And we're back. Okay. Let's, uh, let's watch this. Spin that track, DJ. You got the vaccine. They got the vaccine. We got the vaccine. We can get back to normal. This is fucking real. And I believe that's... Uh, uh, Run DMC. Yeah. Or no, Chuck D. Is that who that's supposed to be? I no. can't tell if it's Chuck D or Run. Yeah, I don't know either. Or no, it's not Rev Run. Oh, DMC. DMC. It's it DMC. Is. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Those bumps. This, uh... That's 90% effective and legit. It's, uh, oh, yeah. really propagandish. <laughs> right? I thought this was a joke. Well, it's kind of like a weird neuro-linguistic programming thing where they just repeat the phrase over and over again. This would not make me feel comfortable getting the vaccine. This is the least hip-hop shit I've ever seen. I don't, I don't mean to criticize DMC, but... Yo, these lyrics. For real! Hip hop type like health. Woo! Wow, I that think, sucked. I think there might be a longer version somewhere, but yeah, I was, I couldn't believe it was real. That's a. Uh, that's real. That's a yeah. very yeah. shitty. Yeah, that was posted by Hip Hop Public Health on Twitter and also retweeted by uh, Cuomo. Yeah, Alex played it on Infowars, and I was like, oh man, this is a good skit. <laughs> and then I then I looked it up, and I was like, wait. This is fucking real? Uh -huh. How how bad must the numbers be with black folk coming out for this vaccine that they got to resort to this shit? I think nationwide it's like 40% people want the vaccine. Uh, like, I think yeah. they're getting yeah. the vaccine. Well, that's just weird white people, though. Black folk have legitimate reason to be concerned. Yeah. I think but their the number is like 70% want to wait and see how it works before they actually are willing to commit to taking it. Yeah, because they ain't fucking stupid. But yeah, the, the numbers must be bad. Like, there must just be not being able to get any of these people to show up for it. They're not great, but I don't know who's going to be convinced by a song. Well, yeah. that's, but like, that's what they're resorting to. And that wasn't for anybody else other than black people. But who's going to be like, well, if DMC says it's okay. I think they're hoping <laughs> black folk over the age of 40. <laughs> they're, they're just going to accept it. Well, I think yeah. they'll, ho they're hoping that they'll be okay with it and then their kids will get the sh vaccine because. Skepticism runs deep in that community, but the numbers must be horrifying if they had to resort to Well, the numbers aren't great for that any, DMC. any uh, sort of demographic at the moment. I mean, look. Andrew, like, certainly not as high as they'd want them to be. I mean, yeah, no, because this fucking, doesn't fucking work. I it's, just read an uh, article last night about people who got infected after their second dose. They're, uh, I think the number's floating around like 50 or 60 percent across all people on who is actually willing to take it. Which is good. This vac vaccines shouldn't be made this quickly. They just shouldn't. I do have uh, some trepidation. Now, Andrew Cuomo was in the news because they finally decided to report that he killed all them old folks. Uh, <laughs> I think this is worse. Yeah, yeah. I would, <laughs> I would rather kill a bunch of old people and listen to that again. <laughs> this, that video offends me far more than elderly deaths. I would sacrifice 100,000 old people. That to have was, not seen that. It was a shitty flash animation from the E bombs world or, oh, or yeah. Newgrounds yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Well, was, and how little respect does he have from anybody current that the only person he could get was DMC? You couldn't get Kendrick to come out and write something that don't yeah, suck. Yeah, J, J. Cole, someone, Jay -Z someone. He couldn't have dropped you a seventeen about this I shit. I got the facts. <laughs> got the facts. Here's the thing: if they did, if they'd have made it like a banger. Maybe you might, you might actually win some kids over. Yeah. Yeah, if it was actually, like, good. In that case, they should have just got, like, Playboy Cardi to They should have taken notes from the Australian uh, yeah, PSA where, we got. Where's <laughs> Cactus Jack when you need him? Yeah. Like, that would have worked. But DMC? 
Who the fuck even knows who that is still? Uh, not many kids. <laughs> also, yeah. who's seeing that and be like, this makes me feel better about the vaccine? You know, after I see, saw this PSA, my fears are alleviated. I, I typically go to flash animations for all my important decisions. Yeah. If they're giving out a vaccine that they're pretty much saying you have to get, and they're resorting to shitty cartoon rap PSAs. Oh, boy. That would make me way more concerned. I could see that and be like, what's in that vaccine? <laughs> I'm, Why I'm, are you pushing this so hard? I want to know what the fuck, what's it going to do? It's a microchip. Because <laughs> you wouldn't have to do this shit if there wasn't a reason. I, I, it makes me more suspicious of it. I'm suspicious that they're going to completely fuck up the distribution of this thing. I don't think there's any way they pull it off smoothly. The, the vaccine? Yeah, the distribution to all the different places. Like, I don't. I don't I, think it matters. They're yeah. already saying something ain't going to work. Yeah. There'll be new variants and shit is going to be like the flu. I'm, you're going to get a vaccine just so you can be told, sorry, you need the new one this year. Are they going to make us pay for it? No. I don't know. Because if I, that's the case, I, I'm I not getting I don't it. think so. I think <laughs> but I know, I know they're giving it to communities of color for free, which is probably why they did this PSA, because if black folk won't even take it for free, then you got to be concerned. Uh, but I, I got a feeling this did the opposite. I got a feeling there were a lot of folk who saw that and were like, yeah, I knew I shouldn't have got that vaccine. PSAs never work. Like, no one sees a PSA and uh, changes their mind. I did have to watch a lot of PSAs directing at BYU. I used to hear tons of PSAs listening to the radio at night. Like, that's that's when they cram in all the PSAs. Well, I used to use the same one for all my commercial breaks every show because that way I could know it in my head. Nobody paid for airtime, so fuck them. <laughs> uh, but I would always play this one anti-texting and driving commercial. And this kid's just, like, texting his friend. At some point, it just stops texting. It's like, it took me six months back. Oh, he's dead. Hey, yeah, I've seen oh, that. Oh, he like, fucking, that, he died? Oh, this, I, where, I like, saw that. And I was like, come up and then they disappear. Or yeah, like, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I was like, oh, Jesus, I've been playing this for six months. Y'all didn't <laughs> tell me he dies every time. <laughs> I thought he just was bad at getting back to him, and now he's dead? <laughs> yeah, he didn't know how to text. Yeah, I didn't think it was an effective commercial. Damn. No. No, it, I mean, they're made, I don't know who makes PSAs that is actually good at marketing. People who need money. Uh, I mean, when you're doing it to white folk, usually, because they're very gullible. <laughs> yes. But with, with, with black folk, like, you think the Tuskegee soldiers were, like, getting, like, cartoons? Like, nah, this, these, uh... Yeah, this Popeye small po singing about the vaccine. Yeah, this smallpox shit, so you're, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You're gonna live. Yeah, Popeye telling you to get your, your syphilis shot. Yeah. It's not going to work. Just take it with your fucking spinach. <laughs> like, I don't feel like that messaging has ever worked. No, no. It it never, it's the same thing as, like, the, the children's cartoons trying to target kids and Flintstone vitamins. You think DMC was just trying to get, like, a parking spot in New York? Or or maybe it needs a paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think you get paid for PSAs. Probably not, I guess. I would assume he lives off his fucking residuals, but... Damn, it's New York. Now that's how you know New York is dying. New York is in a crisis, and the best they could get is DMC. Couldn't even get one of the drill rappers. Couldn't even get fucking Benny. Couldn't come out to save them I, and some shit. Yeah, I can't think. Of, I can't think of any drill rappers now. That Pop Smoke's dead. But I mean, where's Crooked? Where's <laughs> the king of the anti vaxxers He's uh, <laughs> Crooked could have written that, and it would have been really good. Now we got. It would have been informative. It would have been dope. Someone's got to do a slaps anti vax cartoon. Uh, Royce the five don't get the vaccine. Coming. Don't yeah. get the vaccine. <laughs> someone's someone's gonna do it. Someone oh, yeah. someone's gonna dub over that video with a new verse. I mean, Alex Jones probably will. Although I think that's already kind of been a trend in the hip hop community is the not anti vax, but the hey, we know what you're doing. Yeah the the uh, the only one I've seen who's really on the vaccine train is Lupe. That dude's, He's, yeah, Lupe's Lupe's nuts. <laughs> That I love me some Lupe. Oh, I love him, but he's he's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs for but, sure. <laughs> yeah, he he argues with people all the time on Twitter about getting the vaccine. Because because what does he think is wrong with it? No, no, he thinks people should get it. Oh, he's pro. Yeah, yeah, he's very pro. He's what? been like talking with doctors and shit, and yeah, he's how he's, much is Bill Gates paying him? <laughs> you gotta ask him. Too much. I mean, I, if I was Bill Gates, I'd probably go after. It. He's very literate. Yeah, yeah, he's he's. Incredibly intelligent. I, why didn't they get him for this then? At least, <laughs> they should have. At least Lupe would have been good. Yeah. Well, that's how you know, on brand. Look, if Andrew Yang was governor, he would have gotten someone better. He gotten the whole fucking Wu Tang Clan to do this. Lupe's shit. Lupe's already been a rapping cartoon. He was, uh, he was the rapping minion. 
Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. His voice what? is just yeah, yeah, yeah. his voice is pitched up, but that's what? that's Lupe. Yeah, you didn't know that? No. Yeah, yeah. Don, <laughs> your voice work is the greatest shit on the planet. <laughs> Although I think he said he didn't get paid for that. Oh, I think that was just a favor to uh, Pharrell. God damn it! He, why would you do Pharrell a favor? He's rich. <laughs> yeah, he's a billionaire. Like Pharrell not paying you, the label's paying you. Pharrell's got enough money. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm curious to see if this works. I got a feeling it won't. No. Yeah. I'd love to also see the the version for like white people. White people, and it's just like Taylor Swift. It's gonna be yeah, a shitty country song. Just fucking singing, or maybe Morgan Wallen will do like this. Will be his fucking community service. Yeah, he'll this, have to this write will... a PSA about how you don't say hard R, and then you got to take the vaccine. <laughs> maybe my hard R's take the vaccine. I don't know. There's a lot of ways he could go with it. Yeah, he can. Uh, he could combine the two and. Because that would be some be more efficient. Now it'd almost be funnier if they made him do the PSA for black folk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, it might go over about as well as this one. You're yeah. gonna you're gonna give back to the community by convincing them to take this shot. As we all know, black folk love country music. They should have made him rap. <laughs> That would be funny too. Or if That's they just his get, reparations is <laughs> is <laughs> rapping. I don't know. We don't need fucking post Malone with a mullet. Uh, no, no, we don't. We although, already got one post Malone. That motherfucker shaved his head and he just looked normal and old now. Really? He's not gonna age well. Oh, I haven't seen him. He's gonna age very bad. Eh, drinking a bunch of Bud Light and smoking cigarettes isn't typically good for the uh, the old aging process. No. His face gonna look like a cracked Van Gogh. <laughs> Fucking just falling apart from the tattoos the, and shit. The face tattoos are also not gonna. It's uh, the combination nah. of the three is is a bad one. It's I mean, dudes get away with it a little more than women do, but yeah, the face tattoos. I mean, I guess we'll find out. We've never had a generation of this many idiots with face tattoos before. It was always one freak or something, but it, well, but I feel like it was the sleeve used to be that the sleeve and the chest used to be the used extreme. To be the most yeah, the most yeah. extreme thing. Now it's just like I'm a fucking right. I don't know. I'll Six say the nine. dumb shit. I'm, I'm going to get an ice cream cone fucking tattooed on my face. <laughs> he got that removed. Speaking of 6 Of nine. course he got that removed. He was fucking high as a kite on lean when he got it. 6 <laughs> 9 did come back today. The I only saw. people who get face tattoos yeah. sober are white people. I think For everybody else, that's a mistake. I think 6 9s coming back because he was, he was beefing with Meek Mill earlier today. Oh, was boy. he beefing or was he just trolling hoping somebody would respond? No, they, they ran into each other in a parking lot or some shit and he was like yelling at him about being the police or something. 6 9 can walk the streets? Yeah. He's got a bunch of bodyguards. Shocking. With they what could, money? They couldn't be paid off to, you know, I, look the other way for a minute? I guess not. 6 Nines probably got more money than Meek Mill. Yeah, I guess it's a paycheck for them. But yeah, I feel like he... Shouldn't he be under house arrest? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. God damn, it's good to be a snitch sometimes. <laughs> it's good to be rich and a snitch. All that, right, do we... That motherfucker uh, walked away with nothing. We have uh, anything? Or uh, you want to wrap up? Or where are we? Let's Free take hey. You think China will ever make a remix of OPP but with CCP? <laughs> <laughs> you down with CCP? Yeah. I feel like I sh we should pitch that to Emperor Z. <laughs> They'll just get DMC. Run DMC is going to do every single PSA from now on. Nah, you know what kind of blackmail China got? They're going to get whoever they want. They probably go get Eminem. Jack Ma. Eminem and Jay Z. They probably <laughs> get Eminem. They get like Eminem, Jay Z, Nas. It just be everybody that you know they got blackmail on because they got blackmail on all of us. They're always. Is like the the celebrity who shows up in a random Asian event or an yeah, yeah, Asian yeah. commercial. I mean, Fuck nobody's in. tried communism that's fun. Uh, no. Could be a twist. You down with CCP? <laughs> yeah, you know me. Can you smoke it? Shit. <laughs> you down with CCP? Well, we'll bury you if you won't. <laughs> that's they don't, they don't the have a ends. choice. Yeah. It's you're down with CCP. You're down you with CCP. <laughs> yeah, it's, with it's just a statement. There's no question. Yeah, you get you get no option in this equation. It's just a period. Period. <laughs> All right, let's 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 wrap up. We're, we're losing steam here. All right. right, John's blackout stream on Twitch coming soon. Yeah. <laughs> All right, hoop. Mamba out.